Hey guys, Shell Zelda here, and I'm here with my African hair braiding horror story. Yes, yes, I actually have one. And I've been to so many African hair salons growing up. That was a thing in the 90s, but I really didn't have a bad experience. I just kind of chucked it up because I really like getting my hair done. I only have one bad African hair horror story. And y'all, let me tell y'all how it all went down. So, a long, long time ago, about eight years ago, 2011 to be exact, a young, beautiful girl named Shell wanted to get her nap. <laughs> oh boy, yes. So back then, you know, I didn't know how to do my hair like this at the time. I, I really wasn't I didn't know how to braid my own hair. But you know, back in the day, my mom used to always get my hair done. She used to pay for my hair. But you know, a girl saved up her money and I had my own job, so mom was like, So, you're gonna have to start paying for your own hair. Mom's on a fixed income. You're just gonna have to start buying your own hair. I'm an adult now, you can deal with it. That's what mama told me. So, you know, I said, right, fine, I'm gonna save up my money or whatever. So, I had washed my hair the night before, took out whatever hair or weave I had in my head. I put a scarf on and everything. I was like, I'm getting my hair done the next day. I can't wait. I can't wait. So, <laughs> I, this part is very vague. I'm not gonna lie. Forgive me for not knowing this part, but it's very vague. I don't remember if I called the lady. What I think happened is I called her and she possibly didn't answer and I wanted my hair done so bad because I was supposed to go out later on that night with my boyfriend. You know, me and him, you know, it was payday. We were like, you know what, we're gonna hang out. Yeah, go to Applebee's, you know, hang out. So I was like, I'm gonna go get my hair done. I think I tried to call and she didn't answer. And I remind you at this time, I haven't been to her salon in probably over at least a year. You know, this lady I used to always go. I've been there a few times. She's pretty good, her and her sister. So I really wanted my hair done and I called and I don't think I got an answer. So I took two buses to get there. I got off the bus. Now, the bus is not in front of her salon. It's like probably a block ahead. It drops me like a block ahead of her salon. So I got off the bus. I'm excited. I washed my hair. I'm about to go out with my boo. I was just excited. I got off the bus. I was walking. I was talking about some. I was walking with like, you know, pride. And I was like, oh, I gotta get my hair done. So I walk down there, you know, I get to the store. The gate is closed, typical, typical. Cause you know how African hair braiding salons be like. Um, hi, yes, Um, I'm calling to make an appointment. Uh, okay, what, what you want done to your house? Um, I like some box braids. And yeah, yeah, what kind? You come at uh, when we shop open. Come when shop open. Okay, so what time would that be? Um, uh, come at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Come 10, come, I'll be there at 10. Okay, thank you very much. Uh-huh. That, that was the conversation, that's how they be. And guess what? 10 o'clock would come and they don't be there, they be late. They tell you, they schedule you to come at 10 and they be there by like 10, 10, 10. They don't get there on time. Anyway, long story short, so, you know, I'm standing there at the gate, the gate's closed, 10 comes by, 10.05, 10.10. 15 and 20 <sighs> 10 30 and I'm like okay normally they're not this late okay you know I know they be coming late but normally they're not this late what's going on what's the deal that's <laughs> the hold up yep, yep, yep. so I called the salon yeah I don't hear the phone ringing at all to the gate like I I'm like is anybody in there or you know so I hung up and I was like you know what let me just look in the one window that she has and you know what I know everybody's like well why didn't you do that in the first place because you know you know how African salons are they just they're just like a salon with chairs and stuff they're never nice and neat and not only that the one window she had always had a whole bunch of junk in it and I, you can never barely see out the window anyway and she had the vertical blinds I think so you could barely see in it but some said you know 
walk over there and just see if you could see a peak or something. So I walk over there using the eyes that God gave me and I looked in the window. And I was like, hello, is it me you're looking for? Did I see any semblance of life left? No. Yes, y'all. I looked in the window and it was nothing in there. The place looked like a bomb went off. It was not, it was junk everywhere. It was like nothing that said it's an open salon. So basically, <laughs> the shop was closed. The shop was closed, y'all. Meaning like finito, finished, done, out of business, no service, nobody's there. You ain't getting your hair braided today. Yes, that's what was there. Nothing, a big fat zero. I was like, oh my gosh, no wonder they weren't answering the phone. No wonder why the answer machine didn't come on. Don't ask me how or why I decided to take my stupid butt over there without talking to the stylist. Don't ask me why I did that. I don't know what, that part is really vague. I don't know why I just said, oh, I'm just gonna go over there and see if they're there. I think I tried to call in the beginning and I was like, oh, I'm not getting the answer. I'm just gonna go there. Big mistake. So it turns out that they moved. I didn't figure that out that day. You know why? Because when any normal business moves, they have a beautiful sign on the door stating, Hello, this is so-and-so Brayton hair shop. We have moved to new location and here is our name, address, etc, etc. Come, come get your hair done. No, she, they didn't put none of that. They didn't put out of service, out of business, clothes, we moved, finito, we went down the street, we went up to, they didn't put anything on the window. It was just an empty shop. It was gone. It was... <sighs> like I didn't know I didn't know I didn't know I was so upset because I had plans to go out that night with my boyfriend he was gonna come get me you know at a scheduled time you know and you know how you look forward to getting your hair done and I just took all my hair out. I had no weave to put in my hair. At the time, I wasn't, natural was not in, okay, y'all? It was not in at that time. Ain't nobody was rocking no natural. We were rocking the perm, the relaxer, or some weave. We, ain't, we was not rocking the natural, so I was not trying to do no natural. <laughs> but yeah, so I was really looking forward to getting my hair done at that time, and I was very upset. So I decided, I was like, like an idiot, don't ask me why I did this. I decided to keep walking further down the street maybe they moved a few blocks down I don't know maybe that's why they didn't put the sign or who knows who knows <laughs> I walked further down the street and it, I was like you know what there's nothing so I did what any young adult who's responsible would do I called my mama y'all because I, I, I was like, you know, maybe mom would have some answers for me or something. Surely mom could figure this out. Surely. I was wrong. I was wrong. Call my mom. Mom, you know, I, I, the salon is not there. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? Oh, Shell, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you call? Oh. Oh, that's tragic. I'm so sorry. Can't you, you know, get on the internet and um, search it or something? Yes, that's what she said. Now, anybody would say, oh, that's, you know, your mom gave some great advice and she's a great mom. Yeah, I'll give it to her. She is a great mom. But that's not what I wanted to hear at the moment. That's, I wanted to hear that, oh, Shell, I know where the salon is. You know, it's right here. It's such and such. Don't feel bad. Don't worry. You'll get your hair done. No, she didn't say it. So, you know, I rendered my mom useless at that point. <laughs> I hung up the phone. Yeah. So after that, you know, my mom didn't help. I went into the local corner store or the bodega. So I was like, maybe I should go in there and ask the guy if he knows where the salon moved. Of course he don't know. You know, mommy like, mommy, I don't know. Oh, honey, you buy ice cream? 25 cents. He ain't no help, so. I was so upset. I just needed to walk and calm down. So I started searching and googling and I couldn't find anything at the time then I started getting real sad again so I did
I did what any responsible young adult would do. I called my mama again, y'all. Where are you? Oh my gosh, I called my mom one more time just to see if she had any insight, if she could like relieve this pain. I'm in. You know what she said this time? Y'all know what she said this time? Oh, Shell, I'm so sorry. I'm. So what are you gonna do? You know what, why don't you go to the store and get some hair, get a nice little wig, and then you can save some money, you know, Shell? Time, next time. You know, why don't you get a pretty little wig and, you know, come home? She said that to me. All I wanted was my braids. I was dreaming about them the night before. I had ideas of what kind of styles I was gonna do to it. You know, you know how you just have your mind set on something and that's all you really want? Well, that's kind of how it was. You know, even though I'll give it to my mom, she did give good advice, but that's all I wanted at the time. I didn't want to hear get some wig and stuff like that. And, Nah, nah. So, you know, I did find a few salons and um, some places had a great price because, mind you, I had a set price. I've been there a few times and I got my hair kinky twisted. I didn't have that much money and I didn't have too much backup, but, you know, I, did, I just had a basic job, so I didn't have that much money. So some places that I searched had a great price, but they were too far, and then some had a great, uh, a bad price, but, and they were close. It, it just wasn't lining up. And also, oh my gosh, I might have to just buy a wig, but I really, really did not want a wig. I just wanted to get my hair braided, like, or twisted, like I planned it. So you guys thought my horror story was over. No, here's where the horror story begins. <laughs> so I get to Getty Square, and I see a hair braiding place. So I peeked in, I said, do you guys do twists and blah, 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 blah. And they say, yeah. I looked to my left, I was like, oh, let's call her Shanae. I used to get my hair done from Shanae. She was a hair braider inside a salon that I used to go to uh, for my real hair. She did my hair like once and she did a really good job. I was like, oh, I'm, oh, I was like, Oh my gosh, it was meant for me to come here. You know, I found the salon. I, I know the owner. She did my hair. Shanae is really good. So I'm like, Shanae, you know, can you do my hair for twists and blah, blah, blah. I know I'm like last minute. Can you just please take me, please? So, oh yeah, no, I got you, man. You are, oh, mama, I got you, no problem. I said, oh, great. Phew. Uh, I had a bad day in the morning and things are going to get great from here on. What a lie that a laugh in the pit of hell. So, you know, I go sit in the chair and whatever. And then, you know, Sinead was like, oh, what kind of hairstyle you want? And I told her. So, you know, after, you know, she put me in the chair and whatnot, Sinead goes there. And I'm like, Sinead, oh, Sinead. <laughs> Where is she going? They walked that way to her client. She wasn't going to be doing my hair today. Ah. I was like, oh, you're not doing my- No, baby, I am not doing your hair today. Someone else will take care of you. Oh my gosh. So, you know, she come over here. What you do, what, what do you, uh? I was like, uh, uh, kinky twist. Turn to twist, uh, I get a put in a zipper. I was like, oh, oh. So, you know, she did one. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, it didn't hurt. She did another, it didn't hurt. She did another, it didn't hurt. So she started doing the rest of my hair. But when she got to that middle, Lord. when she got to the middle of my head, that's when it all began. She braided so tight, y'all. My thoughts were in the braid. My brain matter was braided up in that twist. Everything I thought about that day, she, she knew about. She knew I didn't like her at that point because she saw my thoughts. The, oh, I, I could tell you not like me now. It was on her fingertips. She rubbed it on herself. Oh, baby, I know I, know I hurt you, but I'm going to keep doing it. She pulled it so, I was like, oh, you know how you, like, somebody goes like that and you just, I was sitting there like this and I was like, <gasps> kind of caught me off guard and I looked at her. Oh, oh, oh. 
She just kept doing it. She didn't care. She didn't care about me. She didn't care about my hair. All she cared about. I do job, I do job well. Come here, get your hair braided, then what? You go home, you have. Oh my God. It was to the point where I was tearing. I'm not exaggerating. I started crying. I was like, oh, I was just like, I was starting to tilt my head back because she was pulling it so tight. You know, the middle is red sensitive. It's, it's just, besides your edges, the middle is so sensitive. And I'm like leaning back like, oh, oh my goodness. And I was crying. She sees me doing all this. I was being mad dramatic so she could stop. You think, you think that affected her? Answer the question. I'll wait. No, no, it did not. She kept right on twisting and tw it hurt. I was like, I really thought my scalp was, I was expecting to hear, I really was expecting to hear the scalp rip from my, woo. She was braiding so tight and I was being mad dramatic. I was bending my head as far back as I can. And I started sliding down in the chair and I was crying and I then I started having convulsions. I don't know. I started going, I really was doing that. And you think she would stop and say, oh baby, I'm sorry, no. Then she, went, she had the nerve to do one of those. Oh, to my head. See that? I was like, oh my God. She that was the tightest i ever had my hair braided ever like that wasn't necessary it wasn't necessary i was in so much pain and not only that i was late i was late for hanging out with my boyfriend he was supposed to come pick me up at a certain time and everything so i told her about twisting so tight she just oh oh okay and then she st she gave an inch i was like that ain't to commit to the whole thing, honey. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the hair came out bomb. It, it was beautiful. She did a great job, but she twist. It was just way, <coughs> way too painful. It just wasn't. I, I've been get like I said, I've been getting my hair braided since I was about 11, 12. Back with the burnt ends. That time I was in my mid 20s. I don't know, and I was used to my hair getting braided, so it. I've been I had to been to a lot of hair salons in that time but that by far was the worst so when I got up you know how your scalp is so numb and it's like swollen and stuff I was like thank you I will insert I think I have like two pictures I don't have any pictures which is stupid I have like two pictures I'll insert them now Um, but I, I thought I loved the hair. It came out really great. When I tell you my head hurt for a long time, it, it, I, I know it had to hurt for at least five, five days. It was, I was in a lot of pain. I left with such a bad headache. And then to add insult to injury, Mr. Grumpy Pants, my boyfriend at the time, he was waiting there probably for like 20 minutes. Now in Getty Square. It's like a central, like I said, it's a central area for a lot of shops, buses, and stuff, cabs, everything come through there. So it's hard to find parking. So he was waiting, it wasn't my fault because I was supposed to be done at this point. He was waiting there for me. So when I got in the car, his he had the nerve to say, uh, yeah, we took you so long, man. We took you so long, man. I said, do you know what I just went through? I just went through them worst hair braiding ever. I done pulled my skeleton. Don't you see my thoughts on my hair? Just look at my hair strands. You could see my thoughts. He was not in a happy. He was in a bad mood. I, you know, I understand where he's coming, but he don't understand my plight. He don't understand what I just went through. The salon was closed. I had to walk down the street. My mom ain't want no help. And I find a salon in the lake. She done ripped my scout out. She done ripped me bald, man. I had such a bad headache. I was cranky. He was cranky. It was just bad. But, you know, we somehow calmed down and we managed to end up going out anyway. We had a really nice night that night. But I, I really needed, I couldn't sleep the first night. 
the second night was okay but it was so severe and you know after you get your hair braided so tight so sensitive you go like that and you could feel like jolts of pain shooting from one braid to another like zzz, zzz, zzz. it was just never that painful and that's why i figured that to me that was my horrible african hair braiding experience i had like a bad luck in the beginning and finally find a salon to get my hair my brain braided in my twist hopefully this don't happen to anybody else but i had seen so many videos on that but I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you have not done so, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. It helps me a lot. I don't know what accent that is. Jamaican accent. I don't know what else. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm sure I'll have something else weird, some other weird projects going on. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. See you. Bye.